Their normal starter, Brandon Holloway, out with an ankle injury. He didn't even make the trip to Provo. And a quick hitter on the outside. Coaches tell us Fitzgerald's better when this team is running with Temple. The question is, could they? So first and five for Nick Fitzgerald out of the shotgun. Ashton Shumpert fights his way through. You take a shot. They'll keep it on the ground on second and one. Shumpert will grind it out. Opening drive for the Bulldogs. Blitz coming. Fitzgerald able to run that way, and he's able to use his legs to dance towards the marker. Quarterback draw. Fitzgerald doesn't find the blocking. Play action. Fitzgerald pulls it back. Now lets it go, and he fits it in for a first down. This is a vulnerable BYU secondary. Shepard again. Early in this ball game. Shepard again. Too much. This is not an automatic for him. Indeed. He has fought through three different season ending injuries. And on the first play, he goes play action. And second best rusher in college football. And here he is on the left side. Able to bounce it to the outside. And he will fight for a couple more yards. He'll get his forward progress at the 31. And it's batted away at the line of scrimmage. Harris Williams now in a running back for the Bulldogs. Fitzgerald lets it go deep down the sideline. Too much. It's tough when you don't have all your players. Third and four. Fitzgerald dances away from pressure. Heaves one downfield and too strong. Fitzgerald it needs to happen here. Just let him run. Inside handoff to Eris William. Fitzgerald trying to keep it on the RPO. He dumps it off to Keith Nixon. He's got the sideline and one man to beat, and he's in. Taysom Hill will keep it and try to work his way on the left side of the line. And a second carry for Jamal Williams. Four-man rush, able to put pressure on Hill. He's able to escape. That's a big old bruise on his right bicep, by the way. It's about the size of a softball, an indicator of all the hits that he takes. We'll pull it back, try to escape trouble. His legs will provide another BYU first down. Now watch here. He's pushed it up into the pocket. Eyes are still down. Everything breaks down, but he's still able to make plays and pick up the first down and make a play with his legs to pick up the first down. How about that stiff arm? He cut the heel of his left hand, stiff arming a Utah defender earlier in the season. And now just the second carry of the night for Jamal Williams. On second and two, Hill reading that in, keeps it in a great tackle in the open field. That's Nick Kurtz to the near side. Hill looking that direction. Kurtz comes back for it, sheds a defender, and he's forced out of bounds. Washington State transfer on the field for the first time tonight. They'll give it to him. Trying to follow his lead blocker. Pressure coming. Mississippi State brings extra men. And BYU beats it with a pass right over the middle. Jamal Williams in the backfield. On third and short, Hill will keep it. Strength up front. Size. And they're going to throw it with Jamal Williams. The lefty will take off up the sideline. It's another version of a run pass option for BYU. <laughs> Tournament, the fastest player on the team at the bottom. To the end zone, incomplete, no flag. There it is. That's where they want to go with the football. Right behind him, and Williams bounces it to the outside. He got bottled up. 13th play of the drive. Hill wants to throw. Lobs it, back corner, incomplete. Algernon Brown will join Hill in the backfield. He's his lead blocker. Left side, Hill hit, and he's taken down at the one. Street lights haven't come on yet. Play action, wide open. Touchdown, BYU, Hunter Marshall. Excellent play fake by Taysom Hill. And Hunter Marshall in the back of the end zone, wide open. Got every body to bite on the second level. Nice little touch to the corner. Ashton Shumpert has the football for Mississippi State with 99 wins in 11 seasons as a head coach of BYU before moving on to Virginia. Shumpert hit in the backfield, drop for a loss, and a big one, Francis Bernard. Come out of the break third and 11 for Mississippi State. 
starting the second quarter. Schumper takes a pass, sneaks through, finds a hole, and he rustles his way down for a gain of 18. On play action, they get it to the perimeter. And a couple yards there. Now second and three after that last completion to Deer. They pump and go. Fitzgerald intercepted. Micah Hanneman. Watch the break on the football. Playing some zone coverage on the back end. This is usually a man-to-man -man team, but watch the break that Hinneman makes on the football. Well, I tell you what, that's nice range on the back end by the junior, Micah Hinneman. From the career record for BYU. Richie Brown drags him down. On second and six, they go back to him. We didn't see a whole lot of Jamal Williams. He said, you know, I had some Juco guys I worked out with, some friends of mine that played at Youngstown State were back home. This one, too strong. Jamal Williams and Brown able to get him by a shoelace. Come a pro-style quarterback in Ty Debner's system, that's, that's not easy to do. Here's Squally Canada. They stack the receivers both sides. Hill pressured. He'll run and pick up the first down. Stands tall, lets it go deep, too strong. Hill scans the entire field and able to find Colby Pearson back on the left side. Aleva Hifo in motion. They try to go to him and it was way behind him. Big win for Louisville tonight at home against Duke to start our college football doubleheader. Fred Ross in motion. Blitz coming straight up the middle. Harris Williams. Pulsifer now in at middle linebacker. Fitzgerald over the middle, caught by Ross. He's got a first down and takes it to midfield. More zone than I've seen him play in, and I'll bet you three games. Two high safeties here. Fitzgerald goes back over the middle, and he's got Keith Mixon. Linebackers blitz again. Williams can't quite get past it. They're on the edges. They bring four this time. Fitzgerald over the middle again. Middle of the field you talk about, it's there again. Draw plan, and those plans scuttled. It's the big fella here just work. He just takes the right tackle, Justin Sr., and just pushes him right back to Nick Fitzgerald. He got him with a hip check. He's going to play the odds of zone and then rally up and make a tackle. Fitzgerald has time. Caught nice. for the first down. After he put one on the ground two plays earlier. Harris Williams gets stood up and dropped in the backfield. A basketball player for Dave Rose's BYU Cougars as well. Third down eight. Fitzgerald stands tall again. Fits it in again to Fred Ross. He knows all four wide receiver positions. Twelfth play of the drive. Ashton Shumpert leading the way. Fitzgerald able to pick up two. Watch for an in-breaking route in this area. Fitzgerald steps back. Batted! And it falls to the turf. Pressure from the right side. Shumpert straight ahead. Stood up at wow. the one. Fourteenth play of the drive. Fitzgerald keeps. He's in. Touchdown. Kurtz in motion. Hill pressure. Jamal Williams 33 yards away from the BYU career rushing record. Williams hesitates and got hit behind the line of scrimmage. First and ten for Nick Fitzgerald. And they go with the end around to Malik Deer coming out of the slot. The BYU defense who got torched by Toledo. They allowed 700 yards. where they got to go back to find some find some throws that he can make he'll step up and scramble for this one where you can just line up and, and play Hill lets it go to the outside complete block rolling at 45 seconds Hill keeps it vintage quarterback Taysom Hill playing on the grass here and he throws an interception picked off by Mark McLaurin See if Mississippi State takes a couple of shots. Here comes the blitz up the middle again. Fitzgerald stands tall and incomplete. Blitz coming again, up the A-gap again. Fitzgerald rolls, 
has a man wide open in the middle of the field. Both quarterbacks have been more dangerous with their legs tonight. To the screen. And that's blown up. Well, if he took it to the end zone here, he'd have the record. Here in the second half. On second and ten, they bring a blitz up the middle. Hill able to complete to Colby Pearson. And Pearson takes his shot. Blackfoot, Idaho, the hometown of Colby Pearson. Pocatello is where Taysom Hill's from. Here's Jamal Williams trying to slither through. Here's Williams behind Algernon Brown. And a stiff arm to take him past the 40. On third and two, Hill will look to throw. And on the little slant, completes it to Nick Kurtz. Not built to really sling it around just yet. Hill on play action. They're wanting to stretch it a little bit, and that pass falls incomplete. Coover's winning Heisman. How about that one? Yeah, indeed. Here's Canada with the carry. It, it was interesting. The a lot of people wanted Ty Detmer in coaching, and I think he's in full time now going forward. Third and three, deep ball from Hill. Incomplete. Between the numbers, back to football, and Eris Williams over the left side. Right back to him. Another first down. Back to the ground game. Sounds like something Paul Johnson would do. <laughs> yes, it's more fitting for Paul Johnson's offense. Balanced attack for the Bulldogs and they go to the air Fitzgerald has room to run he almost got tripped up and now he'll scramble with it a couple different BYU defenders have been tossed for targeting a run pass option and they sling it out to Donald Gray they have changed player behavior in the name of player safety second and six ball on the ground Fitzgerald all day and we have him take a shot down the field. Go oh, deep. They go to the little hitch to Jonah Trinaman. Jamal Williams, 18 yards from the record. Oh, Not coming here. He's close to being offsides right yeah, he's there. He's totally offsides. Entire helmet was over the ball. And that pass completed to the slot. Three man rush. Hill. It's away from some pressure and lunges forward. He'll be a yard shy of the first down. Now his quarterback's coach got married just a couple of years ago. So that went to Brian's wedding. Second and seven. 33 here. Williams. Watch well, the explosion by the true freshman right here. Nice job. Just kind of swimming inside. Gets around Michael Story. Who's in for Dion Calhoun to make this play? <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> Too tough to even tackle. Yeah. It's even if it's even more than that because the expectations are so high for you to be a great leader on the football field, national championship. And then that guy Detmer in 1990, we didn't even get Gifford Nielsen in there and some others. And this one's free. Nick Kurtz down the sideline. But this is a, a great tradition of, of signal callers in this program. Here's Jamal Williams, and Williams fighting his way free. He's 13 yards away from the BYU all-time record. Long pass from Hill. Shake move by Pearson. They're, they're actually leaving yards on the table. Here's Williams with the right side. Who turns it over least in the second half here? BYU hasn't won a game all year that they've turned it over. Hill slides. They've loaded up the backfield. Williams lowers his shoulder, gets stood up, no gain. A little tight here to get himself out. Play action in the boot. Hill, stiff arm, taken down in the open field. About the nine yard line. Hill has time, dances, fires, in zone, incomplete. So back to a first and goal inside the five. Jamal Williams. 11th play of the drive. Williams trying to stretch. Gets turned around again. Nowhere to go. Third and goal. Hill rolling, looking, fires. Touchdown flag down. Parker Daw, the new right guard. Big block. Shot to the end zone. Caught. Touchdown, BYU. Andrew Mickelson with the extra point to tie it up. We got a ball game. Late night, Friday night in Provo, Utah. Two minutes into the fourth quarter, and we are all tied up.
Looking to Williams and said he wanted to take off up the middle and he'll get nowhere. Blitz coming up the middle. Fitzgerald fires. Whoa. Fitzgerald fits it into a tight window. It has been close. They let him get away with it. Here's the reverse. This is Malik Deer turning the corner. Ooh, block in the back. No flag. I mean, it was it was a tackle. Just watching the replay, it was a just outright tackle. Second and short. First down run for Eris Williams. Pressure from the edge. They run option the opposite way. Williams gets bottled up. On second and six, here's Keith Mixon. Nice. Gotta get some pressure. Williams. Line holds. Fitzgerald will take off with it. He needs 18 yards. He's got it and more in a first down. The officials missed another one. Harris Williams shoves his way forward for a gain of one. Play number 10 of this drive. Play action. Fitzgerald pressured. And he's finally taken down at that defensive end spot, but you see him come inside on a game. Tackle goes outside, he comes inside and finds freedom on the way to the quarterback. Takes and eats up space and frees up the defensive end, and he did there for Tau too. Intercepted by BYU. That's Kai Nakua right here. Same type of player. Just has instincts for the football, steps right in front of the re intended receiver, Fred Ross. I tell you what, nice hands as well. He grew up looking up to guys like Troy Palomau, the late Sean Taylor. He said, I've always been a physical player, and people might say our secondary is a step slow, but we've got a lot of pride and have got a lot of picks. It's 12 on the season. As well as Jamal Williams with a tough run. Complete on the in route to Nick Kurtz. See if they go back to Jamal Williams on third and three. Hill looking over the middle. Too strong and that one off the hand. And a long field for Mississippi State. Dead even in the second half in total yardage. Nick Fitzgerald. Quick hitter to the outside and Keith Mixon. Most reliable receiver is Ross. He's in the slot near side. BYU brings five. Fitzgerald moving the pocket. And will flick that one to the Mississippi State sideline. Ross and Mixon top of the formation. Fitzgerald looking that way. Goes deep down the sideline. Incomplete. In zone again. Fitzgerald pumps, lets it fly. Incomplete. In, in the first week or so of training camp. Keith Mixon on the counter pitch. Gets spread out, still gets upfield and gets popped out of bounds at the 49-yard line. Corners peeking inside. They show a blitz. Fitzgerald fires to the edge, and he's got Malik Deer, who has the first down. Here's Malik Deer. After all, on second and five, Mississippi State, third down one. Williams, hit, drops. Graves has hit a 48 yard of the season. That's where the kick would be from here. Fourth and two. Fitzgerald slipped on the turf. They've come away with zero points. Jamal Williams, no. This is Taysom Hill. That spot was taken. They moved Norman over to left guard. Bulldogs show blitz. They bring an extra man. Taysom Hill escapes the pocket. And gets taken down on a side shot. Hill on third and six. Incomplete. We are tied at 14. Late in the fourth quarter. Fitzgerald over the middle for a first down. Harris Williams. Nope. Fitzgerald kept that. And they keep it on the ground. Williams tripped up Yo, with an opportunity to maybe play for a round. field goal. And you got three timeouts. You can't take them and just make a tackle. BYU is going to try to make something happen. Hill scrambles. And a one-handed grab on the sideline. Well, this puts it in Taysom Hill's range in terms of being able to launch. 
a Hail Mary. No, now they say I think incomplete. I think that's a catch. Moroni Laula Putu Tau had a big one earlier. It would be a 21 yard gain if it stands. Foot down, does he have control? Oh, no doubt about it. That's a catch. One hand brings it in, secures it, the foot's down. That's a catch. They wanted a Hail Mary last year at Nebraska. Can Taysom Hill pull it off this time? Clock will run out. Hill trying to scramble, doing his best. Steve Young, and he loses the football. Mississippi State can't advance it. Empty backfield for Nick Fitzgerald. Ross can throw it. Goes right back to Fitzgerald, who's got the sideline. Fitzgerald stops a gain of nine and a half on that defensive line. Fitzgerald keeps it. Fitzgerald looks, fires, end zone, incomplete. Loss in motion. Fitzgerald rides and fires, batted away, incomplete. He's matched up with Diane Lake. That's where you go with the football. Fitzgerald looking left the whole time, now trying to find Ross. He'll scramble, gets out of one guy, leaps! He is in! A lot, of, a lot of plays left in this game. And the first play of overtime. Williams. They go play action. Hill has the ball stripped away. Scooped up by BYU and Tanner Baldery. Been able to, I mean, that's just great work there by A.J. Jefferson to knock it out, but. They're going to throw, fade route, end zone, incomplete. Jamal Williams. Quarterback keeper, and on the sneak, Taysom Hill is in. Right over the center. I mean, and then they just crash everything down. Nice block by Canucci. Well, he got exactly what he signed up for. On play action, Hill able to find his tight end, Tanner Baldery. Baldery all the way to the goal line and in. That opened it up for Tanner Baldery. Right here, nice job. You know you're going to take a hit, but just throw a catchable ball, and then the big fella in the open field. Nice show us some speed at the end of this run. But you'll see him here just invite the defense. Brandon Bryant, the safety, right into his lap, flips a nice pass to Baldery. Jamal Williams' most effective role tonight has been that of decoy. Mississippi State's turn. Fitzgerald goes in zone, first play. Goal incomplete. Harris Williams under center, quarterback sneak. He bounces it to the outside. Slot wide open. Four man rush. Fitzgerald pressured, and he gets swallowed up. Cougars bring a blitz. Fitzgerald gets hit as he lets it go. End zone tipped. Incomplete. Option. Here's Mixon. Now he's cheating back inside. Fitzgerald pressured. Rolls. Let's it go. End zone. BYU survives. Fred Warren in the middle of it again.